key result areas or key responsibility areas often abbreviated to KRAs refer to objectives that revolve around an employee's area of work or their field. It is dependent on an employee's work profile and their job description. In this video, we will focus on how to enable KRAs as an evaluation metric for your organization, configure KRA related permissions in Zoho People, add and tag KRAs for designations and departments, and how to tag KRAs for individual users. For KRAs to be added for your employees, it has to be enabled in the first place. To enable KRA as a performance metric from your Zoho People account, go to Performance. Settings, Performance Modules, Enable KRA. If you would like to rename this metric, you can do so by editing this. Once this is enabled, you can set up permissions on how or who can tag KRAs to employees in your organization. Click on Permissions and select your desired options here. The administrator will be able to tag KRAs by default. Other than the admin, Employees can tag KRAs for themselves or their respective reporting managers can tag KRAs. Now let's see how to add KRAs and assign them for different designations and departments. Under Settings, click on KRA. This will be your space to create new KRAs. Click on Add KRA, enter the title, enter description and click Submit. Created KRAs will be listed here. You can edit them and delete them at any point of time. Now let's tag these created KRAs to designations and departments. KRAs can be tagged to different designations, departments, locations, or even both departments and designations at the same time. To do this, enter your specification here and click Tag KRA. Select your particular designation and the department and pick the KRAs that needs to be tagged. The selected KRAs will be listed here and you can allot the weightage here. All KRAs that you add will sum up to 100%. Don't forget to click Submit. Now we have successfully tagged KRAs. Now let's see how to tag KRAs to individual users. To do this, you can go to the My Review space. Here, you will find a list of all the KRAs that are associated to you. Here, you can tag KRAs to yourself based on the permission set using the Tag KRA button. If you are an administrator or a manager, you can tag KRAs to your reportees or other users based on the permission set. To do this, go to Teammates, Peers View, and you will find all your fellow employees listed here. Click on the particular employee to tag a KRA. For your reportees who report to you or for your apprises, go to Apprise View, click on the particular employee or your reportee and you can tag their respective KRAs. Now you have successfully tagged KRAs to your employees. Some important points to be remembered while adding KRAs are any number of KRAs that you add will sum up to 100% by default based on the weightage that you added. Any change made to the weightage of your KRAs after the review process of your appraisal will not reflect in the appraisal process. I hope you found the video to be useful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.